In this video, we will learn how to find the area and perimeter of triangles. So remember that a triangle is a polygon with three sides, just like this. So to find the perimeter of any triangle, all you need to do is add up all three sides. Because the perimeter is always the distance around a shape. So you have to know all three sides in order to figure out the perimeter in order to be able to add them all up. If you're not given all three sides, it's possible that you might first want to solve for a missing side using Pythagorean theorem if it's a right triangle or trig. It depends on what information you're given. So for a triangle, the perimeter would just be all three sides added up. There's not any more formula besides that. Now for area, Area is, in general, the number of unit squares it would take to fill up a shape, because area is the amount of space inside a shape. So it helps to try to relate triangles to another shape that we know, and what we're going to relate it to is a rectangle. So imagine if I drew a rectangle so that it just covered this triangle. Now, the two dimensions of this rectangle are base, which is actually the same length as the length of the base of this triangle, and height, which is actually the same distance here, the height of the triangle. So the area of the rectangle would be base times height, and that would be the area of this whole thing. So what we want to figure out is, how does the triangle relate to the rectangle? So the area of the rectangle equals base times height. So what you should notice is, the triangle is half of the rectangle in two different pieces. So if we first look at this piece right here, the triangle, which is this part, takes up half the space of the rectangle, the other part. And in this rectangle, this piece of it, again, the triangle is exactly half of the rectangle. So in general, the area of any triangle will always be half the area of the rectangle because a triangle is always half of some rectangle. So that means the area of the triangle equals base times height, but then divided by 2, because the triangle takes up half the space of the rectangle. So it would be filled with half as many little unit squares as the rectangle was. Keep in mind this will work for any triangle. There is always a rectangle that exists where the triangle will be half of that rectangle. One important thing to remember is that the height of the triangle is often not one of the sides. It always has to be a length that is perpendicular to whatever base that you're talking about. So if you're talking about this as a base, then this would be the height. If you were talking about another base, then there would be a different height. But the base and the height always have to be perpendicular, form at a right angle, just like they do in a rectangle.